Hi there. Most every time I do a workshop about Google Sites with educators, I always get a question about how do I embed a video that's not hosted on YouTube? Well, the answer is really pretty simple. But first, what, what am I really talking about? Well, here's an example of a video that's been in inserted into a Google Site, and then right next to it is a nice form for people to answer questions about the video. Um, you can see here, it's not a YouTube video. And it's actually a QuickTime video. You can see the QuickTime player controls here. And it's, uh, it's, the way to do it is really pretty simple. Um, let me give you, give you a look. What we want to do is just start with a, a page on your site, a Google site. And uh, you see this little attachment button? It's usually on every single page except for the home page. Well, you just go ahead and attach your video that way. And I'll show you how you can create a link from it, then an embed code, and then we go ahead and stick it on our site. So if you see here, just click on the attachment. And I'm going to go ahead and browse for something that's on my desktop. So let me just click on here. Now I'm using a Mac, so it looks a little different if you're on a PC. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and select this video. It's an M4V, which is just a small uh, file type for a, uh, an MOV, a QuickTime movie. Um, it takes a few seconds to load up, and you can see it's right here. Now you see here there's a download button. When you click on that, uh, visitors to your site can download the video that you've attached to it. But we, uh, we want to go ahead and click and grab the code for that, the, uh, the link to that. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and right-click it, and uh, right-click here, and then choose Copy Link Location. Now on a PC, that looks a little different as well, but you get the idea. I'm going to copy that link location, and I'm going to go on to um, you know, any kind of program that you can edit text, and right-click that onto there. Now that's the link that, it, uh, that you get for that. You can see here, just after the, the uh, file extension M4V, there's a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo there about downloading or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that. Now I've got a nice clean link to the uh, video I've uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and right click that and copy it. I'm going to head over to a site that I really like to use to create an embed code called freevideocoding.com. And uh, it's a fairly simple site to use. Let's take a look. What kind of media do you want to post to the web? Well, I certainly want, I have a MOV, so I'm going to click on that, or a QuickTime movie. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and paste the link that I have on my clipboard here. You can see it ends with M4V. And then I want to create an embed player. So embed the player is the option. I'm going to go ahead and keep the default file size, but you can see here that there's other options for you. And uh, I'm not a big fan of autoplay because it just tends to start when nobody's expecting it. So I'm going to click no. I definitely want the controls. And uh, here, do you want to support the site with the link? Y you do what you need to do. I'm going to go ahead and click make HTML. Now, if you don't know HTML, this maybe looks kind of scary. The only important thing you need to know here is to get rid of the comment co uh, tags here. They stick those in there because they just want you to recognize it. But we don't want them. It, it tends to cause problems with Google Sites. So I'm just going to select the embed code, and then if you know it down here, is this the extra link to go back to their site? So I'm going to do that for them. Now I'm going to right-click that and copy it. Let's head back to our site. So here's the page I created that where I attached my, my, uh, my video. You don't need to put it on the same page. It's not, a, not an issue. I'm going to go ahead and click Edit Page and put my page into edit mode. Now, if I paste this right here, it's just going to put uh, text, you know, like, an, like HTML code there. We don't want that. We want to go into the HTML button up here in the corner. I click on that, and just below the break tag, I'm going to paste the embed code that the uh, freevideocoding.com created. I'm going to click Update, and you'll see here is just a placeholder for the gadget that Google creates for it, and then I'm going to hit Save. And there you go. It takes a few seconds for it to load, uh, but the QuickTime placeholder is there. And then you can see right away I have the video that I have attached down here. Now, I've gone ahead and put all this onto a page on my site for you to look at. And not only can you do it for Google Sites, but if you look up on top here, uh, you probably can't read it, but it's there for Google Docs as well. Now we're going crazy. That, uh, that site is right here at bit.ly video hosting underscore sill. I appreciate you watching, and thanks very much.